Joe Paterno, whom the students respectfully nicknamed Joe Pa, has become an icon of Penn State for over half a century. His dedication and support for Penn State and its students has not gone without notice. Joseph Vincent Paterno, coach, educator, humanitarian. I like the name Paterno. Everybody knows him as Joe Pa, and it sounds fatherly that way, and it's actually built into the name Paterno itself, which, which is short for Pater Noster, our father. So I would say he is fatherly in his regard for the large family, if you will, that he heads up. So I, I really like the fact that the students refer to him as Joe Pa. I really respect the man and his principles and how he has really uh, been a teacher to his players. People tend to think that coach represents the school. Well, that's why we've been so fortunate, is that we have Joe Paterno as our trademark guy. Somebody who stands not just for um, excellence on the field, but for excellence in all these other ways. Just the other day, they had the, the 5K run raising money for the Special Olympics. Right here, right after the Blue White game, Sue Paterno was out there the, the day after. She's promoting it. I mean, they're always there. They're, 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 they just don't give money. They're involved, with, they're involved in the day. They participate in the day. They, have, they, they, they go to the receptions with their kids. It's not about football. It's about the library. It's not about sports. It's about academics. I've written enough books and talked to enough players, and I know enough of these players from, from you know, the biggest name players, Jack Ham, John Cappelletti, you know, Todd Blackledge, you, you name the players, down to the players that aren't even known, and how Joe has influenced the life of what, his sayings and what he's told them. You know, the Paterno family embodies the values of the liberal arts. Uh, they have liberal arts in their blood, so to speak, in their DNA. Uh, both Joe and Sue Paterno are products of a liberal education, and they've, you know, just done a lot around Penn State to take the liberal arts under their wing. Charlie Pittman, our first great uh, running back here, All-America running back. Ch Charlie's a, a, a major uh, businessman in the media, okay, for a public, for a, a chain of newspapers. Charlie has written, and his, and his son played here. And they tell you, uh, uh, they, they, they told you in the book, and they tell you personally what, what Joe Paterno's meant to them. That's, that's down through it, that's with all the players, black, white. You see him play out there, the football, you see that determination? You know, you got the Sueys, you got the Zordiches, you got, I mean, Dave, Dave Joyner, you know, I named the people that sent the, their kids here, and they're still recruiting him. When he talked to the recruits, he never said anything to the recruits. He didn't tell the media that he said publicly, this university may not be for you. You may not be this type of university. We don't put you up in a hotel. You have to stay in the dorm with the players today. Da, 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 da. I mean, all the things he said. I guarantee that's not done at every university. I mean, we found out, you know, the latest Big Ten scandal was the one at Ohio State. That would not happen here under, Penn, under Joe Paterno. We run our athletic programs here, not just football, at the highest level ethically because of Joe Paterno's um, his career commitment to high ethical standards. They'd like to ask Joe, who, who's his, what was his favorite team? What was his best team? Come on, Joe, tell us your best team. He said the best team and the greatest Penn State team will be the team that will we will find out 20 years later what they've done with their lives. He continues to use that line even with the current players. But, but this man has stayed in this job for that long, been successful, and, it, and, and beneath it all has been his love and help at, for Penn State and, and Sue Paterno, and the family's love for Penn State. I consider him to be the greatest football coach of all time because of what he's meant to the institution. It's not that he's built, not just that he's built a great football powerhouse, a legendary football pow powerhouse. It's not just that he's had this incredible record in wins and losses but he's carried the school on his back to the kind of prominence that we're now a part of. Hey, 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 hey. Ah. 
you understand, Joe's very focused. And he's very focused on that football stuff. And if you're not focused, you can't be successful at what you do. And he's so concentrated, people misunderstand him when, he, when he's concentrating so much. There's a mural that shows a uh, tackle, a, a goal line stand against North Carolina State. It's in the stadium in 1967. It's a game that put Joe Paterno on the map for the first time. And it's a great photo, the kids climbing the, 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 kids climbing the, uh, the, the goal post. The designer didn't want that, didn't pick that picture originally. They picked the picture they thought was more dramatic. It was of a goal line stand at the Alabama game in 1978 team in the 1979 Sugar Bowl, where we lost the national championship to Alabama. We were number one, and the designer wanted to put it here. And I said to the, to the, to the design person, I said, wait a minute, that picture, he said, it's a great picture. And he said, let me tell you something. When Joe Paterno sees that picture, two things are gonna happen. First, he's gonna ask me, who put that picture there? I'm gonna to point to you. Then he's gonna find, kill me and kill you too. Will Joe Paterno's impact on Penn State be indelible? Yes. I would hope that our school continues to aspire to the values embodied by the Paterno identity. What the fans are hoping for, and what I think the athletic department is, is to maintain their traditions Sure, that's going to change. The offense will be different. They better win. Coach will be different. Okay. Don't change your traditions, but the man will better win. It's just like the successor to, to Bear Bryant. Okay, the guy gets a statue next to Joe, better have the same quality as Joe or he'll never have a statue.